Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Toh from ETG and I'm going to talk about one thing that comes out in consult sessions a lot, which is how do I write an evaluation for this question? So when students ask me hey, how do I write an evaluation to this question, I will always stare at them. Are you really asking me how to write an evaluation for this question? Because the moment you ask me how to write an evaluation for this question, I know that you don't really understand what an evaluation is about. So an evaluation is not something that you copy and paste. So for example, you are trying to write about whether a carbon tax is appropriate in addressing market failure in the case of negative externalities from carbon emissions. And you're trying to talk about whether a carbon tax is a good policy. So what most people will say is that, oh, carbon tax doesn't work. Why it doesn't work is because for it to work, you need to set a tax equivalent to MEC. And quantifying this MEC is very difficult because of imperfect information. So guess what? That's what everybody writes. So the moment everybody writes, it becomes a standard evaluation. So if it's a standard evaluation, then you're going to get one, two marks for evaluative marks. Then you ask me, hey, why, why am I getting one or two marks or five marks for evaluation? So there are actually many things that you can evaluate about a policy. I'm going to give you a few examples to show how multi-dimensional uh, an evaluation can get. So for example, if I were to be talking about how difficult it is to quantify MEC, I could talk about, hey, climate change means uh, polar ice caps will melt. Polar ice cap melt means that flooding will cause people to die. How do I quantify the cost of deaths? How do I calculate how much of the number of people who die because of flooding that occurs is really due to climate change. So if these are things that are hard to quantify, we explain it. We explain why is it hard to quantify the MEC. Then beyond just talking about a information failure occurs in the case of carbon taxes, we could also talk about things like carbon leakage. If I implement carbon tax in this country, then firms leave, they go elsewhere to pollute. Then we have this thing called carbon leakage where firms, they pollute somewhere else. The total carbon emissions in the global climate is still the same. Then what's the point of implementing carbon taxes? It only causes firms to leave your country and go somewhere else to produce. So you have to evaluate and say that, hey, if, if that's the case, that means to say that it is not useful for me alone to implement a carbon tax. So a carbon tax might be more useful when all countries band together and set a tax together. 